instead of waiting for the storm to pass and for the official identification of the bodies, bodies I might add that were trapped in the ice for six decades, you, and by extension me, are going to climb up the mountain so you can identify them yourself. I know, Oscar, I know. But I've just got to be sure. Because if one of those bodies turns out to be Dana, I... I... We'll have no more trains to chase?
Looks like it's holding up, despite the storm. but maybe someone should store it inside, just in case. Lenny's left her lookout post. Hardly surprising with this blizzard. What's this? Oh, it's the frozen bodies from the Devil's Pass. The forensic team had to bring them up here because of the blizzard. But the generator shut off. I'm concerned it could damage the bodies. Where's Demoiselle Lenny? Oh, in her room, resting. She... she collapsed right after the forensic team left for Wagen. Jeez, what happened? I'm pretty sure it has to do with the bodies. I mean, she was staring down in that direction for, well, all the time. And then, when they brought them up from the Devil's Pass, it was like... like she had seen a ghost or something. It was almost as if... As if she knew the departed. What? Is someone taking care of her? Oh yes, don't worry. She is with that hermit who brings her wood and provisions sometimes. Okay, in that case, you go back inside. I'll take care of the generator. Are you sure? Positive, just go. Go on. I need to check something in the tent anyway. Are you sure you want to stay under the storm to see the bodies, Kate Walker? They'll still be here tomorrow, you know. Maybe, Oscar, but I can't wait. I I've just got to know now. Too small for a door. Look, Oscar. A distant cousin. Um, what are you talking about, Kate Walker? And why are you laughing? Photo of Leon on a ship. Must have been taken during his return from Baltayar. But I still can't figure out how he survived the winter while he was on the run over there. Lenny also had that newspaper clipping about Leon. <sighs> Looks like the old girls built a veritable shrine to him. Demoiselle Lenny had tea with someone. Maybe with that alpinist guy. Another one of those cigars. 
There's something truly odd going on with Demoiselle Lenny. I really ought to have a little chat with her. But before, the bodies. They are all that count right now. They must have carried Demoiselle Lenny to her room after she collapsed. like I can change its shape. That bloody storm. The bodies are in that tent, outside. No time to explore the refuge again. I need to find the frozen bodies. Oscar! This button must have turned on the generator, Kate Walker. But you still need to use the starter. Okay! Thanks, Oscar! The gas tank's empty. I better find some fuel so I can turn on the generator. Didn't you come across a jerry can earlier? Better go check it out! Yes! Thanks, Oscar! On one. Too heavy. I need something lighter so I can carry it to the generator. Looks like this one's full.
fry biscuits. Wonder how long they've been there. Must be to crank up the generator. be something missing here. Forensics Institute of Wagen. Leon. It's as if he died yesterday. Like in those stories where people are found perfectly preserved in ice for decades after being carried away by an avalanche. <sighs> Hard to believe he's been dead for over 60 years. That's quite amazing. And grim at the same time. Unidentified blonde woman in her 40s. That can't be Dana. That's not Dana in this body bag. Oscar. Dana's body is not among those found with Leon's. Oh, what a relief. 
Now that that's cleared up, Kate Walker, maybe we should take shelter within somewhat more solid premises. Right. We should go and check on Demoiselle Lenny in the refuge. I have a lot of new questions for her. Looks like the rescuers left in a hurry after they moved the bodies here. Must have been surprised by the blizzard. Well done with the generator. Brrr, that bloody storm. Opposite Oscar. Sir, are you there? What have we got here? This portrait, it looks like Leon. The style reminds me of that other portrait of him that he described in his letter from Baltayar. The one made by the... You're the one that Leon saved during the Origin Expedition a long time ago, aren't you? Yes. The Goran from Baltayar. Well, you've come a long way, Mr... Ludwig. Ludwig Hardtack. 
Well, Mr. Ludwig, if you don't mind my asking, what happened when you and Leon returned to Ostertal to join the Resistance fighters? And how did you meet Dana? Leon, my brother. These drawings, they're moments from your life, aren't they? Hmm. Looks like a river. And that little figure looks wounded. Is that you when you met Leon and the scientist from the Origin Expedition? Yes. That person in the middle of the others was in the other paintings. That's Leon, isn't it? Yes. Leon. That group. Is it your tribe, Mr. Ludwig? Yeah. So you all live together in a cave in Baltayar? Right. So you and your tribe took Leon in after the death of Reinhard Berger in 1937. That's how he was able to survive the winter in the mountains. Then you went with Leon when he decided to return to Wagen to join the resistance fighters? Mm-hmm. Had Dana already joined the Resistance operation by that time? I mean, by the time shown in the drawing. No. Later. These combat scenes, are they of the liberation of Wagen? Before. During Resistance. The blonde girl with you and Leon can't be Lenny, right? Yes. Lenny, my sister. I knew Lenny was a resistance fighter, but she never told me she fought alongside Leon, let alone you. She even went as far as saying that she never saw Leon again after 1937, when they all met at the refuge with Dana. Why would she hide something so important? Time to check on Lenny. Come, Kate Walker. The sketchbook? I think it was Leon's.
detonating wire, just like in the old movies. This symbol looks like a warning. Some kind of map looks like the Devil Pass to me. Could, could all those marks indicate where the Goran searched for Leon's body? These must be plans for secret operations. Must have been some kind of a headquarters here. Maybe for local resistance fighters such as Leon and his group. Weapons. Must have been here since the war, I guess. So much happened to the Gorun since Leon found him in Baltayar. What a life he had. But there are still so many gray areas. I need to learn more from Demoiselle Lenny now. Ah, Fräulein. I knew you would be back eventually. Judging by your face, you and Ludwig already met. We have. And it raised a lot of questions about you. About what you said to me the first time we met, and about what you didn't say. Of course. You can run from your past, but never truly escape it. <laughs> but you already know that. Don't you, Fräulein? I want to understand Demoiselle Lenny. I'd like to understand why you didn't tell me about Leon's death. About fighting with him in the Resistance. And about the Gore. And about Mr. Ludwig. It would have saved us both so much time and effort. Because it would have only begged questions. Questions which lead to events that I've never spoken about to anyone. Not even to you, dear Ludwig. Lenny. Still, I suppose it. it doesn't matter now. Perhaps it's time I confess my crime. What are you talking about? It was the best years of my life. Joining the Resistance, unlike my coward of a father, and fighting alongside Leon after he miraculously got back from Baltayar with Ludwig. It gave me purpose.
Leon was a terrific leader. I could feel he was finally taking me seriously, especially with Dana being missing. I knew he was still in love. After all, didn't he cross the globe to rescue her? But we all thought he arrived too late, that Dana had died with her parents during the pogroms. So, I believed his mourning would eventually come to an end. And that's when Dana fell from the sky, literally. Dana was sent by London, right? To oversee that operation led by your resistance network? The exfiltration of a civilian to Switzerland, if I recall correctly. Indeed. But Leon never told us that Dana was involved. Maybe he was afraid to believe it himself. You should have seen them, Fraulein. It was as if they had never left each other. Do you know if... if Dana ever mentioned a child? Maybe they were planning to have one in Baltaya. Who knows? In Baltaya? Yes. That's all they ever talked about. How they were going to live over there after the war, along with Ludwig and his tribe. But it was to be just another broken dream.